Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Dono, aka Ben Wonderful here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about something I talk about usually in my videos, which is camera gear and equipment. I mean, I like to talk about a different range of things, including art, because you know, I draw a little bit, you know, I get down. But anyways, in this particular video, I'm gonna talk about this lens right here, which is the Fujifilm kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter. And if you watched any of my recent videos, you know that I acquired the X-T3 from Fujifilm, which is my favorite camera. I have a few cameras, you know, I have some Canon cameras, and I have the Sony a7 III, which is a great camera also, but my favorite camera is the Fujifilm camera and the Fujifilm system in general. But this lens in particular, I want to talk about because in the camera world, you got to have a lens, right? You got to have, for these interchangeable cameras, you got to have something to shoot with. And most of them, I don't know what that was. Most of them, when they come with the kit lens, like for example, Canon and Sony, and even Nikon, when they come with the kit lens, it's usually their cheapest, the bottom of the barrel, like their lowest quality lens, you know? It's just something cheap to get you started with. But in the Fuji world, this 18 55 is an amazing lens, actually. And the aperture is actually one of the best apertures I've seen on the kit lens. I think it's the best one that I personally used, which is, uh, starts at a 2.8 all the way up to f4. Now, to give you a comparison, my, most of my Canon kit lenses, they start at 3.5 to 5.6 at the long end. So when you're at 18 millimeters on this one, you get 2.8, which is pretty good and pretty decent when you're in a low light situation or if you want to get a little bit of blur in the background. If you're a fan of the Fuji system, then you already know that this is not your ordinary kit lens and it's not, you know, it's not a normal lens. Now, the reason I want to talk about this kit lens is because if you're getting started with cameras, you know, video making or photography or whatever the case may be, which, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new at this stuff too. You know, I've been trying to make videos uh, all my life really, but um, I haven't really tried to learn the ins and outs of the actual camera stuff until recently in the last, you know, year or so. And if you're getting started with uh, a lens, a kit lens, or you're getting started with a lens, you don't have a lot of money, or you just want to just get started, then this is a well-rounded lens. This is a great for just, you know, street and, you know, portraiture work, if you go out to the longer end, some quick stuff. And especially the reason why I wanted to talk about this lens is it's a great all-around travel lens. Now, the X-T3 is a great camera. But unfortunately, this camera doesn't have uh, in-body stabilization, so it's not stabilized at all. So this kit lens is. It has a stabilization on the lens, which, you know, helps out a lot, you know, when, it, when you have those little shakes. You know, if you're ever carrying around a camera or a phone or something that doesn't have a stabilization in it, you know exactly what I mean. It's so hard to watch if you're trying to make video. It definitely it helps also with photos, but... It has it built in in the lens, so it's definitely a good lens to start off with and to carry around for travel. So I just wanted to bring some attention to this, this great lens and, you know, give you my little two cents on it. So um, I want to bring some other videos and talk to you about some more of these different lenses and equipment that I use with Fuji, including the one that I'm shooting on now, which is the 10 to 24, and which is another great lens, you know, a great, a great travel lens also. But anyways... Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. <laughs> Maybe you did, didn't, I don't know. But hopefully you enjoyed it, at the very least. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I have more content coming, some travel videos. Uh, my birthday's in August. I'm going to have a travel. I have a plan for traveling for that month. Uh, up until that, I don't really plan on traveling too much until August. But I do plan to make some other different types of content and videos for you guys. Hopefully some creative stuff that you guys can enjoy. So until the next video, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. All right. All right. So I switched over to the, to the lens because I realized I was talking a lot about it. But I didn't really show you that much of uh, some live action. I should have, you know, I wanted to make the video with the lens. But I wanted to also show you the lens in the video. So... Uh, anyways, oh, that's, that's a lot of echo in there. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, look at this video uh, stabilization. Uh, my hand is shaking a lot. But um, <laughs> this is not ideal for vlogging because uh, the, 20, the, the 18 millimeter is kind of zoomed out on this crop sensor. So it's about a 27 millimeter on the Fujifilm. So not perfect for vlogging situations unless you have, you know, a tripod or I'm sorry a tripod or a gorillapod 
that's you know kind of stretched out a little bit. If you have something like that, maybe you can use the 18 milliliter. But for vlogging situations, I would probably uh, sit this down somewhere. You know, do something like ugh. sit it down, back up a little bit. You know, do something like that because you need a little bit more space with this lens because 18 is a little too too close up on the face. You know, not ideal for the vlogging if you want to get some more stuff you know around you, some of your scenery. So. Anyways, I um, just want to show you a little bit of video from this lens. This is at 18 millimeters. I'm going to do a little B-roll at the end of this video and show you uh, some of the long end while I cook some of these chicken nuggets. So anyways, <laughs> back to the end of this video. And like I said, see you later.